Hello people, thank you so much for watching. Today we're doing a very special uh, video about house sitting, what it is and uh, if you do it well. <laughs> what it is and why you should do it. What is house sitting? House sitting is where one or more people, the house sitters, will look after the home and often the pets of the homeowner. So it's basically like babysitting but for houses and pets instead of babies. So why would anyone need a house sitter? There are loads of reasons why people want house sitters. Um, I think it originally stemmed from not wanting to leave the house alone for a long period of time. So, you know, think about burglars, think about perhaps a pipe bursting and the house flooding. But then I think nowadays it's more about pet sitting, it's more about looking after the pets. You know, we all know about kennels and anyone who's ever put a dog or a cat in a kennel will know how much they love <laughs> those kennels and the fact of the matter is that dogs and cats don't love kennels dogs and cats love nowhere else better than their own homes you know for people who love their pets they don't want to put them in kennels but it's not just about loving your pets sometimes you might have an animal that simply cannot go in a kennel maybe it's a horse or a sheep or even a little turtle can't they just get their friends or family to do that <laughs> People often ask us why do people want pet sitters and house sitters, why not ask a friend or a family member or neighbours to simply come in and look. And there are lots of reasons why people don't want to do this. Um, first of all, it's, it is quite a big burden and to ask this of your family and friends and neighbours, um, especially over a long period of time, can be quite a huge favour to ask, especially if you've got rather spoilt pets or if you've got you know big pets like a horse. What was the question? <laughs> Another reason we come across quite often is uh, the people we house sit for are expats. They're foreigners living in a different country and hence their close family and close friends uh, don't necessarily live near and often they're going to visit those friends and family so you know there's no point. Yeah, I think that's obvious. So why would anyone want to be a house sitter? So just like there are many reasons that homeowners want to have house and pet sitters, there are many, many reasons that house, house and pet sitters want to house it. So there are, you know, there's the flexibility. You can literally live anywhere in the world and it's a lot easier than you know, uprooting and living in that country. Um, and oftentimes people decide to move to a country but they decide to house it first to check that you know, actual living is what they expect. It's a lot less risky than buying a house or even renting a house. Um, for us, we love house sitting because we get to travel the world. We get to really see what it's like to actually live in the country, not to see, you know, what the tourists see. And um, you often get to explore areas that you wouldn't necessarily have thought to explore. So really kind of off the beat places. And a very important reason, and the other main reason why we love house and pet sitting is because of the pets. We absolutely love animals, but because of our travel lifestyle, we don't really have the option to have an animal of our own at the moment. So it's, it's absolutely lovely to be able to travel, but still have that love of animals. What are the typical duties of a house sitter? Just like every house is different and every pet and animal is different, the duties of a house sitter do vary with each different house sit. But generally it's the same sort of thing, it's keep the house clean and tidy as you would your own house. It does not entail, you know, spring cleaning or going over the top. Um, looking after pets of course, caring for them, feeding them, walking them with their dogs, taking them to the vet if, you know, there's an emergency, which hopefully there won't be. Um, keeping an eye on the house, checking for mould and checking the letterbox and watering the plants and it's just basically almost exactly like everyday living except you're living in someone else's house. Wow, I'm convinced! That sounds great! So how can <laughs> I get started? How do I become a house sitter? Well, there are many different ways to start house sitting. You can ask around with family and friends, especially if you know people in areas you want to stay in. But the best and most efficient way is to sign up to a house sitting website. This is a place where uh, homeowners and house sitters can meet and talk, and you know, it's a whole. There are loads of websites dedicated to house sitting. The one that we're with, and the one that we've had the most success with, is Trusted House Sitters. And if you go onto our website, travelingweasels.com, there's lots of information about them and we can even give you 10% off, so head on over. And the link to that 10% um, discount is in the de description below. Thank you so much for watching. We really hope this helped clean up some of your questions about house sitting. Uh, if you have any more, feel free to email us 
our travelingweasels at hotmail.com or connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We're always there to help you with your questions. We even wrote an ebook about house sitting and how to get started and all the things we wish we'd known. Um, finally, we're going to be doing a lot more about house sitting over the next few weeks because we are actually currently house sitting. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any tips and tricks and more about house sitting. And fin finally, finally, <laughs> if you want to see more of this amazing house sit, check out yesterday's video where we gave a mini kind of tour. Thank you for watching.